Hello and welcome back. My name is Paul Wilson and today I'm going to be working with the Excel VBA make their statement MKDIR. What it is is a statement that allows for the automatic creation of folders or directories. It is a built-in function that is entered via the Visual Basic Editor. The syntax is real simple. You put make MKDIR and your path. Um, and the path is the argument in which the folder and directory is being created and this statement doesn't return any data however in the case that a folder to be created actually exists it will cause an error and also if the path is complex directory structure and the high level directory must exist first before the lower level directory could be created otherwise it'll throw an error message as well now today ladies and gentlemen what I have here is a small spreadsheet and here are the folders that I want to create and in each of these folders I want to create these subfolders so you think that is four folders right there plus an additional five folders each which would make for having to create 24 folders manually and if we were to do that manually let's see what it would take um, I'm going to go over here into my folders. It's going to create the folders here, but I mean, imagine what it would take. You'd have to go in, new folder, and let's just do one example. And then we have to say P A U L R Wilson Jr. Dot, dot com, and you hit enter. And then you would go in and then we would create the subfolders. But the thing is, who really wants to do that? You know, this is like a pain in the neck. You know, I'm going to be like keywords. Oops. And, you know, I could lead to uh, misspelling and then I have to go in and create folders. Well, the thing is, the beauty of it is that you can do this for all those folders instantly with the click of a button. And before we even demonstrate that, we're going to take a look at the code. And I'm going to explain as best as I can what it do, or, you know, what it does. All right, so I set the code to option explicit, which basically means that we are forced to declare all variables in this fashion. And then option base one will make the array begin at one. Make all arrays begin at one. So I created a sub function called create folder one. And we don't need a description because we know what it does. And I set up the application screen update and false, application calculation manual, application display alerts false, application enable events false. And then at the end of the code, I do the opposite of all that okay now we're gonna have to declare the range as a variable the range is gonna be basically um, sheet one which is gonna be the folder sheet a 1 through 100 that means that basically I could list a hundred items that I want to create folders for in that fashion in this little lane here and then I created subfolders on the other side of the next sheet with the, the subfolders to be created. Now how this works is basically um, we're going to declare my path as a string, declare my folder count, declare folder count as integer, then declare the structure array as a string, and declare subfolder loop as an integer. Now, also, we are declaring max rows, max columns, R and C as integer. And then I'm going to sheet one. So no matter where we are, it's going to select sheet one. I'm using, I'm hard coding the sheets into the code so that if I rename this, I would have no problem with the code. All right. So it selects sheet one and we set the range equal to sheet one range a1 through a100 that means that 
I could list a hundred items here. I could change this to a thousand. I could list a thousand items here, and it will look at this range and take it into consideration for the execution of this code. Now I set the parent folder equal to K O W M, which is on my K drive, where we are here, as you could see, and that's going to be the parent folder, and that's where we that's where we're telling the code. That's where we want these folders created. Now, we declare max rows and max columns. We need to look at the max rows and max columns, and it's going to be range rows count. So it's going to take my range, and it's going to count all the actual rows that have data. And the column is going to do the same thing, and it's just going to be max columns is going to be one. Um, so next. We're going to take the folder count, which is going to be range A1, range A1, Excel down count. So we're going to count the folders that we have to make. And then for C equals 1 to max columns and R equal to 1, we're going to do this code here while R is less than the max row. Okay? So in this code next, it's going to check to see if the directory exists. If it doesn't, the value will be zero. Then it's going to go ahead and make that initial directory. Then we're going to go into, uh, we're going to redim the structure array as the folder count. And then we're going to use a for loop to loop through the sheet one cells to value to create all our folders and then after that particular loop is done for the particular site it's going to select sheet 2 right in preparation for listing in the subfolders and I use while active cell value I select range a1 select so it's going to go up there and it's going to do this code while the active cell value is not blank. So it's going to go through this until it's blank. I can list as many subfolders as I want. And this code is a blessing because it will save you a lot of time in creating your subfolders. Now, I have tweaked this code out and I've, you know, worked on it. Now to, to make it work. It took me all morning to get it to work so that it could show a good show for you folks. All right, so in this loop, back to this loop, I'm using that subfolder loop again, and I'm using the make directory, make path, range, R, and C. So I'm using that same R, range, R, and C from, folder, from the folder sheet, which is sheet one, and then I'm appending to it the active cell value and running a loop for that until that's done. And that's essentially how it works in a nutshell. Um, as you can see, the folders have not been created. So when I create, when I click create, I created the shape to simply activate that code. It's going to create these four folders plus all the subfolders in them. And we could work through it, or I'm just going to click create, and here it goes. So it's working. It did it that instantly. So I'll refresh my window. And for all the domains that I created as folders, let's take a look. Go in there. We have all the folders for those sites. Go there. Same thing. Same thing. And same thing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and delete these folders, and we're going to take a look at how the code works when we step through it, how it jumps around and everything. I find it kind of interesting. Um, we'll just run a little bit of it, and just like we'll see how the code acts for your education. All right, so I'm going to put a break in there, and then when I hit create, it's going to start me there, and I'm going to hit F8. And you can see 
how it goes through each line. So folder count equals 4, max columns equal 1, max rows equals 100 because I set it to 100. Now while R is equally less than 100, it's going to make these directories. Then it's going to go in and make the directory, the subdirectories for that particular folder. So I'm going to F8 through this loop here. Then it's going to go back. Range RC is going to be another domain. And it's going to do the same thing through this loop. I'm going to press F5 to complete the project. All my folders have been created. I'll refresh and we'll see again that the folders that I wanted to create have the information that I need in them and they are ready for me to work with. Um, and that's really what I wanted to demonstrate today. Um, I appreciate you guys watching and thank you for coming to my channel and checking it out. If you have any ideas or anything, feel free to comment, you know, rate the video, subscribe, you know, and uh, let us know how you feel. Let us know that you support us, and we would like to thank you very much. Once again, I am Paul Wilson, and I am signing out for the day. Thank you.